Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are great because today we're gonna talk a little bit more about those national boards of dental examinations. So if you wanna know more about the actual day of the test, what's going to happen on that very same day, just stay with me in this video because there's a lot of information that can be helpful for you. So we've already talked about uh, studying, like materials, methods, how to study, how to prepare. I've already gave tips on another video. In this one, uh, I would like to talk about the day of the test. If you've already taken those simulations, you know that there will be a tutorial, a 15 minute tutorial, where they show you how to use the tools, the how to mark your questions, how to skip, how to come back to them. And I strongly advise you to review that, even if you know already how those things work, because maybe you're nervous, maybe you're not, but maybe you can forget something. And that's also a good, fresh remind that can help you with some stressful situation. Uh, maybe you're not gonna take 15 minutes to read, to go through all that, but 10 minutes, five minutes or so, whatever, I, I would go through everything and, and just make sure that I, I'm aware of everything because uh, actually something may have changed, okay? So after you pass this 15 minutes tutorial, you, you start to take your actual exam. And that part is gonna depend on how much you studied. I was never a fast test taker. I, w I was always stressed about the time. I was always worrying that I was gonna run out of time to do all the each one of the four parts. For me, I was always taking care of the time. But some people say that in those kinds of tests, the time is not a problem at all. They, they just finish the test much earlier than they should. Uh, that was not my case. If it's not your case, you just go ahead and do and you are comfortable with coming back to the questions that you didn't know before you take your next break. In my case, I will always ha make sure that I, I did my best on that question because I knew I was not going to be able to come back. After a few tests that I took, I, I was a little faster. And when I took my part two, for example, already, I was already um, faster and I was having ch a chance to come back and review. But in, in the first times, in the part one, for example, I, I didn't have that kind of uh, expertise. So I was gonna make sure I did my best on every single question. But also that cannot pass beyond the limit that you have to every uh, question. You have to do that math. Let's say you have three hours and a half to do 200 questions, which is true for the part one and also for the part two. You have to do that math, to that, that 210 minutes for 200 tests. So do that math. You, you shouldn't spend more than one minute in each question, because if you do in one or two or more questions that you're going to run out of time to do the next. Don't, please don't count on every single minute. Leave yourself those like 10 or 15 minutes to um, review, relax, or maybe you kind of lose yourself on your mind. You'd have to come back to the test. And so please don't use more than one minute to every question. Okay, about the breaks. When it's time for a break, the computer is gonna let you know that you have a chance to take that break on that moment. You could skip those breaks, but I would strongly advise you guys to take those breaks, even if you don't feel tired. First, because you have to eat. Second, because you have to use the restroom. Even if you don't feel like you should use the restroom right now, go ahead and use the restroom because maybe half an hour later you're gonna need and you, you're not gonna have that chance because if you leave the test out of your break time, you are allowed to do that, but you're gonna be losing time and you, do, you don't wanna do this. So you have to eat, you have to use the restroom and you wanna relax a little bit. You wanna go take your mind out of the test. You wanna do some stretching with your muscles and you cannot use the whole break time to do that because the moment the break starts on your computer it's it starts to count down and you have to leave the room you have to be inspected to leave the room you have to be inspected to come inside the room sometimes there is a line for this inspection so sometimes 15 minutes will turn into a 10 minute break or even less than that you have to take care of the time you left the room because it's not guaranteed that somebody is gonna go there and say, hey, it's time for you to come back to your test. Some test centers are so big with, and so crowded with a lot of test takers that it's just pretty much your responsibility to show up and, and sign and be inspected and be in front of the computer when your next test section starts. So be aware of that. 
Last but not least, I have some tips about the week before or maybe the two weeks before. Maybe we would, are gonna need a, a, one more video to talk about that, but in those last few days, 10 days, five days, whatever, is not a time for you to get stressed, of course. You shouldn't get very tired. You should go to bed every day early and to get used to that schedule. You shouldn't go to bed early only in the day before the test. What I would like to say now is that about your study on those last few days. Of course, you have to keep studying to the very last day because otherwise you can forget things that are important to the exam. There are several things that you have to memorize and you have to bring with you in your mind to succeed in the test. So those very last days are for you to give this boost on those memorizing things. You've already studied all the contents because these contents are so numerous that you've already studied like months in advance. You shouldn't be studying on that point. In those last one or two weeks or even three weeks, if you have a chance, it's time for you to memorize things. You know those things that when you are starting to study, you think that you're not, never gonna memorize? You will memorize because you, you read those things so many times, you write them, you record them, you speak about them, and suddenly you know all the things already, you have them memorized. On those very last days, it's time for you to, to make sure you have them on your mind. If you don't, try to write them. If you can't, Go ahead and read them again, speak them out loud to yourself, make songs, whatever. You have to make sure you memorized. Sometimes, if even if you don't understand that thing very, very, very deeply, there are those things that you have to have memorized to take the tests. You shouldn't memorize two, two to three months in advance because you may forget. You have to keep memorizing those until the very last day. So don't go crazy on studying on the, the very last days, but go crazy on memorizing. That's what you got. You gotta do. And if you can, don't work in those days. If you have a chance, I know some people won't, but if you have a chance, don't work in one day, the day before. Don't work in the week before, if you have this chance. Uh, in the week before my test, the part one and the part two, I had to work a few days, but not the whole week. And, and if you have that chance, or make arrangements, get people to help you with your work or with your uh, work at home with children or whatever, because you have to be very, very focused on those memory things. And I think I, I was able to cover everything in this little video, uh, everything that I considered important around the day of the exam. And after the exam is finished, of course, you're gonna go celebrate, you're gonna go uh, rest, relax, party, get drunk, whatever you want, because it's so tough to pass those months studying or everything to be ready for that day. And I'm sure everybody that did all of that is gonna succeed and you, deserve the moment to celebrate go ahead and do whatever you want even if it's get some sleep for like two days and because after taking those 400 500 questions you deserve a break so go ahead and take a break relax and enjoy because hopefully that will be a pass after two to three weeks and congratulations for all you guys to have achieved to that point so stay with me and good luck for everybody bye